In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Glory to you, O Lord. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart from me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, everybody. Today we hear from the Acts of the Apostles how the Holy Spirit was really working through the church. And uh, the word of God was spreading and growing. And it was the Holy Spirit that really guided and empowered the, the early disciples. And we hear the early disciples were fasting and praying and worshiping. They were seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Um, and then during this worshiping and fasting, um, the Holy Spirit spoke to them, revealed to them through prophecy that to set, that to set apart Saul and Barnabas for the work that he is to, to send them. And then ultimately he, he sent them. And they, they went to the, the areas that he sent them and they preached the gospel and it bore much fruit. So likewise in our lives too, oftentimes we don't seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We kind of plan our own thing and then we, got, we ask God to bless our plans. But I think it's better when we seek the, Holy, the guidance of the Holy Spirit, when we pray, fast, and worship, asking Him to reveal to us how we can best serve Him and to enlighten us and to guide us. Then, then we are sent forth by the Holy Spirit, empowered by the Holy Spirit, to do His work. Then it will bear much fruit. Then it will be according to God's will. So let us pray. We thank you, God, for showing us the power and the working of the Holy Spirit in the early church. We ask that the Holy Spirit may be with us and that we may be open, receptive, and seeking His guidance and power and so that we too may be sent out to proclaim your word, to bear witness to Christ, and build your kingdom. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.